from previously playing in, in the World Cup and, and two previous, three previous Six Nations, um, you know, the group were already established and this time around you're trying to not only build that on the field, you're trying to build it off the field. So yeah. that's been difficult, but I have to say the management have been great and we've had team challenges and yeah. uh, we're part from five yeah. and we're the move fastest. Yeah, because we move fast. Very fast. Every week when we go to camp, we have a team challenge, and uh, this job basically move fast. So we kind of be on the field standard. Um, you be on the gear. So depending how you um, you manage and you how well you do mm. your challenge, you get points. So at the end of camp, you presented with a an amazing belt. WWF um, plastic be belt, which we have won all the time. All the time. Hard luck, people. Sorry. So every week we compete and it can get ruthless and yeah. there might be... Lizzie is very competitive, so we're very happy to have her in our <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, this is one sitting in front of me, like um, Linda's athleticism and her hunger to, to learn and not be afraid to put herself out there and, you know, say sorry and I've done that, but then to go out and right the wrongs and do so many great things that's the that's what we haven't done collectively and you can see it with the lads are trying and including myself I'm not infallible I make lots of mistakes showing that you can have lots of energy and enthusiasm but it has to be challenged 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 challenge. challenge. and it's definitely how even you bounce back mm. from it um we definitely were in your school and we're learning so much from you from you guys like like of yourself okay I'm Lloyd Junior um Kerry Griffin, the captain, we definitely mm. we appreciate all your, your support and even the knowledge that you bring into the squad. And you definitely have been there for so many, you have so many caps, so many experience that we kind of need. Um, but you build that atmosphere in the squad that we don't feel like, we don't see that we're not experienced. We, we feel like, okay, we can be at the same level. Yep. And then we go <coughs> there, not thinking that we don't have less cap, we're not that experienced, we just go there. and giving it a hundred percent on the field. Laughter is a great medicine and, and that's what the positive has been, you know, off the pitch or when we've had downtime. Um, and sometimes when you're so intense, like myself coming back from injury or trying to stay, you know, at the top of your game and everything like that, it can actually get in on you and you start to not be yourself. And, mm. um, and when you're even rehabbing and you're in that dark place outside, sometimes you, it reminds you the girls have been great to just remind you that you know it is a happy place and you yeah. are part of that circle, you are part of that bubble, and we do get on, you know, really well. And that's an important, it's an important building block that can be overlooked with a team. And if you can build that off it and then transfer it on it, mm. well, then you're an invincible team. And we're just trying to transfer what we're trying to build off that pitch onto it. And I think you forget as well, like I mean, the lads have an awful lot to come into, you know, S and C. So there's gym yeah. at the morning. All the condition has to be done even to actually balance your normal life with what yeah, yeah. it's gonna be very challenging um how did you find that because i don't know I've, when i came in yeah. at first the, the what was demanded of you and then normal life you're like i'm not gonna fit all this in yeah it's definitely <laughs> like um, i'm studying nursing and just having and i live so far i don't live near dublin at all the city center i live in rush so which is so far away from mm -hmm lunch time where we do the gym at six o'clock in the morning but your day is so long and then you have club training that you need to do mm -hmm. and you have just a study you probably have work after that and but it's definitely challenging but you have support there you have your teammate because you're not doing that by yourself other this other students there's other so everyone mm -hmm. kind of you have to, you tell even if you sort like you're a sprint you'd be like here I'm doing the same journey. You probably do want to stay in my place, so it's much easier for you to get to the gym. So you definitely feel you're not alone. You have that support there, which is exactly what you need. And when you wear that green jersey, it's worth what it's, you just feel like this, it was worth it. Mm. The struggle was definitely worth it, yeah. It was brilliant, wasn't oh it? Oh my God, unbelievable. Um, for me, you, I just goosebumps singing the national anthem. Um, 
it was it was so emotional. I remember just like grabbing you so I know we were like sitting <laughs> standing beside each other like I was like Linda's gonna have like this white mark on her like just like where my hand was gripping into her shoulder. <laughs> You're definitely a much better singer though. Thank so you really very much. That. Thank you. Um, a lot of practice, a lot of hard work goes into that too. But <laughs> <laughs> In the mirror. <laughs> but um, it was definitely, it's def always, it's an honor even for me because to sing in the, the national anthem in Irish and then so mm. uh, definitely I was more like, yes, I know this. Um, then my first guy was like, oh my God, um, it's just a dream come true for me, definitely. Mm. That green jersey is something I would cherish for my, the entire my life. Like, um, and I definitely want more girls, like you play and you, you want more girls to be involved because I want to forget that the aspect of even being a physical sport, but every sport is physical, you know, but that the bond, the friendship that you get in rugby, that even the last like few months we've been together, I feel like I've been with you guys more than I've been in my own family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's There's a picture <laughs> of Linda, she will be back. <laughs> um, but it's definitely even going back to camp and even when you have lost, yeah, you, you, you cry together, you, you win, you win together, um, you learn together, um, you, you're just there for each other and then that's really how we're going to be a better team um, in and on and off the pitch is how we really support each other um, and that did reflect on our game against France because we definitely, we, we play like... Up the ante, yeah. Yeah, it was just... Like you knew that was my sister there, you know, um, and I'm going to get, I'm going to support her. It was just something we played the whole 80 minutes. Just, it was just something, I just felt so different. Mm. I was like, yes, this there is it. There was a bit more fight to us. And yeah. I think, again, it's another, it's another lesson. It's, it's hard lessons to know what the demands of international rugby are until mm. you're there. And, you know, yeah. you can't, you can have all the conversations about it that you want and you can hop off each other at training and we do. Um, <laughs> but... At the end of the day, you never know what the opposition will give you, and that's no. you know it's learning about playing heads up rugby and whether that's you know attacking sense or defending and yeah, and that's what it means. It takes sometimes it can be overwhelming to know or put it in context or to know how it feels until you're there with that six thousand behind you roaring at you to know that your family's name is etched in that jersey, that your club, your county, your history. Everything that encompasses being Irish is in, is it's, it's just in it's stitched yeah. in that jersey, yep. and it takes it. It's not that it it purposely takes a while. You've just so much to take in. Mm -hmm. um, but having six thousand six thousand and forty seven, if I'm right, with the yeah. attendants standing behind you, um, I think <sighs> my crew were trying to you know, Ale la blue, Ale Ale la Vern. They were changing <laughs> it to green, so it Ale was Ale great. Yeah. yeah, you know, so it was fantastic. I think it means everything. I think, you know, we as players, we've put in a lot of work and we've made a lot of mistakes and we hold our hands up to that. But the bottom line is, you know, we need to give, you know, for an analogy, two fingers to our own doubts in our own head and the doubts of everyone outside this camp and, and right the wrongs. And we have that opportunity and it's going to be bodies on the line, yeah. sweat, blood, tears and give everything for 80 minutes on Sunday on Paddy's Day and do whatever it takes to bring home that win against Wales and finish Definitely. our campaign on a high. And that's the bottom line, that's what we want to do as a group. And that's what we will do as a group. Yes, Linda. Yeah. Goosebumps. Right, say and it again now. Sure. Jungang. 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 <laughs> Why is that right? Okay, we're close there. Linda's like, say my name, say my name. Correctly. <laughs> <laughs>